Hey guys, I'm back again, making my second collecting tip. Um, this is be this is the video that I show you why you should fix your stuff. Now, I'm trying to blast through this because I don't have that much time left. But right here, of Game Boy Advance. This used to be a broken Game Boy Advance. Now it works completely fine. The problem was battery corrosion. And to someone, I know that I'm probably there's probably someone that's like, well, I want to fix it. I just don't know what I need to do. It was battery corrosion vinegar. Now, when it comes to games that are cartridges, sometimes you just need to fix it. I mean, not fix it. Sorry, clean it. Now, this game itself was never broken. No, not this one. This game... Well, this game had corrosion on one of the pins. Now it works. But... Um, all I had to do was clean it, and it worked. So, cleaning... Sometimes just cleaning your stuff makes it work. But, if you find something broken, like, online, and you're thinking, like, oh, I need that, but it's broken, you should get it. Now, all I had to do for this was clean the battery corrosion and replace the screen. The screen was broken. And to prove that works, I got Pokemon Gold in there. It works. Right shoulder button works, too. Now, to my friend Loki that's hopefully watching this video, you might remember that the right shoulder button didn't work. Well, somehow, some way, now it does. Don't ask me how, because I don't know. But, but, if we all just fix all of our broken stuff, then we can make, we can make all this old stuff last for such a long time now I, sometime i'll make a video about going by all the consoles that i have and fixing them now i don't mean to sound all big-headed like oh i know how to fix everything because i don't i might be good at fixing electronic stuff but when it comes to mechanical stuff i have no clue what to do I'm just not that type of person to be like, oh, I know everything, or, oh, you know nothing. Because, sure, someone might know more about mechanical stuff than me, but I might know more about techno technical stuff, like, more than them. And that is why, that is why that people that actually know how to fix stuff we need to get together, and we need to fix these games. Because there's some games that deserve to get fixed, and some games that deserve to be broken. One of those games is like Shaq Fu. That game needs a burn in hell. But... But, we, if we can get together and fix all these games, we could have these games forever. Okay, we can't have these forever. It's, it's just, I don't, the problem is, is that we don't know if we can have these things forever. What I mean by that is that, this NES might not work in like 10 years. And if it does work for the past that, I, I don't know if it'll last as long as I live. I don't know as, if it'll last as long as my kids will, if I have kids. But if we just can just band together 
fix these games and preserve them, then we might be able to have these for generations. Like, think of an old car. Like, if we, if you get like a Model T, it might still work. And to think about that, if a Model T can still work in 2018, then why can't an NES work? Um, well, why can't an NES work until? Until like twenty seventy five, because I actually saw like the day before Christmas, I saw some dude dr- driving a Model T down the street. I'm dead serious. So if that can live to twenty eighteen, then an NES can live until twenty seventy eight. So, to get across the main message here, if we band together to make these games work again, if we band together to fix these games and preserve them, then these things can work forever. And I know that might sound to some people like, I want you to join a cult. But it's just the truth. We can make these games work forever. But until we get enough people to do that, it's just in limbo. Because me and my friend, well, I have already made an oath to myself to always try to fix games. I don't know if you'll commit to that. But I'm fully committed to it. I don't know why I feel needed to do that. But I'm fully committed to it. I'm ready to do that. And I hope to everyone watching this video, you are too. On that note, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.